Welcome back to another BTS video with Kyle Meager for the Choices Project. This time we're covering two videos, Some My Soul 1 featuring me and Some My Soul 2 featuring Rain Johnson. So we're just going to launch right into it. basically what is Some My Soul about and what is Some My Soul 2 about. So Some My Soul 1 and Some My Soul 2 both have themes of giving up your dreams uh, in order to get money, you know, get a paycheck, trade your dreams for dollars, right? Um, and there's actually another song in this album that kind of talks about that, if you guys remember, called Dreams for Dollars, right? So Dreams for Dollars is basically like, oh, we can do it, you know, I'll make my dreams happen no matter what. And then Some My Soul 1, with just me in it, kind of turns out on his head and says, can I do this? Is this sustainable? Because, you know, there's a lot of industries, like, you know, the entertainment industry, that it's really hard to get into and stay in, right? Um, so some of my soul kind of talks about that. Should I trade my dreams for dollars? Should I just go take up an accounting job at a firm? Um, and if you guys choose some of my soul in the Choices Project, you do end up going into sales at a company, right? Um, some of my soul, too, is a little different. It's like the little middle point. We have dreams for dollars, Sell My Soul with me, and Sell My Soul 2 with Rain Johnson. So Sell My Soul 2 basically is that conversation of should I trade my dreams for dollars? Should I keep going in this industry? And then at the end you finally go, yeah, I should still be in this industry, you know? And kind of like an astronaut. When you're a kid you grow up and you're like, I want to be an astronaut. But then, you know, you grow up and you're like, man, being an astronaut is hard. So you end up just being somebody who'll send somebody to the moon. You might not be on the moon, but you're somebody who's helping somebody else get there. And that's kind of like what writing is. So, Kyle Meager in the Twisted Project, she used to help write for Rain Johnson. Rain Johnson becomes this big star. And that's the end of our story for Sell My Soul 2. I've been talking a lot about Rain Johnson. So who is Rain Johnson? Well, he's this guy. Easy, right? Uh, but I know Rain Johnson because of my producer, Mark Liggett. I met the guy, I met Mark a while back. He's helped me with numerous songs, produced numerous songs of mine. Uh, and when I asked him, I said, hey, do you know any country artists? He went, oh, I've got just the guy. Um, so I've collabed with him once before on a song called Hallelujah that's on my YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out yet. And then, of course, he agreed to do an original song with me, Sell My Soul 2. Uh, but he makes really great country music. If you guys want to go check that out, I left his link in my description. He's got some great songs, so go check it out. We're going to move on to a cool shot right before I move on to the funny moments. I think this is probably one of my favorite shots in the entire Choices Project. You know, it's the slowly panning up to the upstage and then all of a sudden the back away to reveal the empty bar. Because, you know, that's kind of what it feels like when things aren't going right for you. You know, you're playing songs for an empty bar. Even one of the song, like lyrics in the song is, Pour it out in every place with no one in it. So this is just kind of supposed to encapsulate how it feels when, you know, things aren't going right for you in the music industry. Some funny moments. I'm just going to rapid fire them here. It's like a little montage here. So number one, this is a cannabis store. We tried to cut it out the best, but you can still see the very vivid green. This bar did not like us. I was there and I was like, hey, can I just like film outside? We got the permits and they were like, no, you're going to drive away our customers. And then they closed 15 minutes later. It was like nine o'clock. I didn't know what the deal was. Uh, and you know what? They actually liked my music. People were like, play for us. And I was like, yeah. Right here when I'm walking, there's a fight down the road. I don't think you can see it in here, but it was scary. I had to walk by and everybody was like, oh, what's going on? Lastly, this scene's pretty funny because it actually has my sister in it and my drummer from Dreams for Dollars in it. So it's kind of funny because, well, first of all, it's my sister. But second of all, my drummer, if I go back to the bar, is like, hell yeah, I'll play some drums for you and we'll be famous. But then as soon as I don't come back, he's like, oh man, you know, you're a good friend. You need this $5 more than I do. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this BTS little montage thingy today. It's a little shorter, uh, really appreciate it. Follow us back next week and subscribe because I'll be releasing the train wreck BTS video. Hope you guys like that one. Um, and of course, if you guys have any cover recommendations, I'm going to be starting to do some covers again. So put them in the chat, put them in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys.